Kitchen at Westminster for another episode of Saving Time. This week we're going to do herb baked chicken breast, skinless boneless chicken breast with a mushroom and spinach salad. I, it's lovely weather outside. Let's get the garden on our dinner plates. Starting with the chicken. Everybody likes chicken. Now, the thing about skinless boneless breast, expensive, beautiful, if done right. How many times have you spent a lot of money on the chicken? only to be disappointed because it comes out a little tough or a little dry. So, trick to keeping your chicken moist and tender and getting full value out of the money that you spend on it. Good deals this week are at No Frills. Chicken breasts are on for $5.47 a pound. Look at how beautiful they are. That's a good buy. Um, the way we're gonna start, I've got some hot water in this bowl. Not super hot, just, you know, kitchen tap pot. Okay, not boiling pot. In there, I'm gonna salt it pretty well. That's about a tablespoon of salt. You know what, we'll go a tiny bit more. Now, this is not a trick. This is too easy to be a trick. There's no magic involved. We're gonna soak these in there for about 15 minutes. And while they soak, we can be doing other prep. In they go. That's all there is to it. Now, there's fancy names for this. I, I guess, in essence, we're brining it, but it's, it, it feels like brining is a more complicated path than what we're doing here. It's warm water, tap warm, salt, in it goes, about 15 minutes. It's just gonna be there while we're doing our other prep, so who cares, right? Like, it, I, I mean, what do we like if it's in there? I'm gonna get rid of this icky thing. Unfortunately, styrofoam, right? I, I mean, what business is styrofoam still allowed for? I'm gonna get rid of that and just give my hands a quick rinse so that we know I don't have chicken. <laughs> now, I want you to start preheating your oven to 425. And we're gonna bake this chicken quick. Okay, so 425, start your oven. I've already started mine. We're off to the races. That's happy right now. <laughs> now, Get yourself a cutting board, anchor it with a wet towel so that you don't have to deal with slipping stuff. We're gonna start with our mushrooms. Look at this big pack of mushrooms, $3.47. And I'll tell you what, we use, I, I wash these trays out, of course I do. <laughs> no big surprise. So we wash these out, but my husband uses them just as uh, seed starting plants, boxes. So this is where we start our seeds, and handy, right? You've already got it. You already bought that. 347, you get the mushrooms and the tray. <laughs> now, I don't want to use the stems in this recipe. We're going to saute the mushrooms and put them on top of a bed of spinach. I don't want the stems. So just, that one's a bad one to start with. If you just stick your finger in there, you can pluck it out like that. And then brush off any dirt. Now, the stems compost them or if you know you're going to be doing a gravy or a soup in the next couple of days, save them and chop them up into that. I just don't want the look of the stems in our salad, but they're very useful. So if you're doing a stuffing or anything, if you were gonna stuff some peppers and that kind of thing, you could put them into there. If you do gravy, I like them in that. Heck, if you were making homemade hamburgers, you could saute them up and mix them in with your beef and they'd be lovely in there. So unless you really don't know what you do with them, keep them and work them into something else. But you can see how easily they pop out. It's no big deal. And then you can buy cute little mushroom brushes. I usually just, as long as your hands are dry, it's easy just to brush any, any bits of dirt off of them. It doesn't need to be a production. You don't really want to get them wet because then they won't saute very well for you no frills these sales go until next wednesday and that is holy dina june 16th middle of june already wow time goes fast and the spinach is the spinach is actually the regular price it's always this good price there so you get that nice container and it is just shy of a pound for three dollars and 47 cents yeah three dollars 47 cents you know, like, and that's always. And sometimes I like buying spinach um, for on sandwiches. And sometimes I, I just want a little change from 
lettuce, and so the spinach is a nice addition. And you can always toss it into a pot of pasta while you're cooking it, or who knows what. It's so versatile. You can get the omelets anywhere. Handy to have. Handy to have. Now, look at these. They're coming up nice. The chicken that we're doing, super simple, and it lets you, again, highlight that beautiful cut of chicken. Now, sometimes and often on restaurant menus, and heck, let's go ahead and be fancy. As soon as you're doing the chicken breast, chicken supreme, okay, chicken supreme. So when you're reading on a menu in a restaurant, chicken supreme, that's what they mean, it's the chicken breast. So chicken supreme is chicken breast. And so go ahead, let's go ahead and when you bring this to the table, chicken supreme. <laughs> It's, which is not necessarily the same as supreme chicken, but it's chicken supreme is pretty close. So, we're just about through these. Uh, then, we're just doing this because our chicken is sitting there and soaking and making sure it's going to be moist and tender. So why wouldn't we be busy getting this out of the way? Right about now, I want you to put, well, I'll finish this first, but it's easy. Sorry, going fast trying to. There we go. Oh, I see a little, little spot of dirt on that one. There, I got it. And that's it. There we go. And see, you can see how that would be a great little deck for planting like you know, geranium seeds or such. Don't throw it away. Use it for something. I've got my handy pan towel here. We can set that to the side. Now, I'm not going to do it yet because my oven is already at temperature and I don't want to brown the butter too much. Put half a cup of butter, so one stick of butter, quarter of a pound, um, into whatever casserole dish you're going to cook your chicken in. Sit it in the oven so it melts while the oven is preheating. I, 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 you got heat right there, so don't bother melting it somewhere else and pouring it in. My oven's so hot, I'm going to wait. Now, I'm going to start, actually I don't need to do that. I can just put them straight into this frying pan that I've got ready for my mushrooms. I put two tablespoons of butter in this for, for starting the mushrooms. You use whatever you want to use in terms of um, how many you're going to do. Start with two tablespoons. I want to slice these mushrooms. Now, I guess, you know, just think about how they look when you buy sliced mushrooms <laughs> and, and go for that kind of size. And I usually just I try to start in the middle and then measure out, and just like that. Just keep them going. Don't cut your finger trying to make them too skinny. They, they practically disappear when you're cooking, when you saute mushrooms, they, they deplete pretty quickly, so you don't want to make them too, too small or they'll be gone when you turn your back on the stove. And you can see this is not hard or anything like that. We're just slicing them. Sometimes the sliced white mushrooms are on sale um, for a good price, but more often than not, it's the whole mushrooms that are the sale. And really, you're paying by weight, so don't let the stems go to waste. Find a place for them if you can. Oop, I poked myself, but it didn't hurt. <laughs> It's not going to be a week like that. See a little bit of dirt again. It's going in there. Um, this is easy. Our chicken. This is just going to be ready for us when we need it to be. This is a good garden meal, and I know you're going to. Mostly, I wanted to do it because I wanted you to see how to keep those nice chicken breasts moist, tender, highlighting the good cut of meat that you're getting. It's a shame if we buy a good cut of meat and then botch it in the cooking process. <laughs> this is a, a little bit of insurance, if you will. Just in case, a just in case. There's all of that. We are almost through with these. The next thing I want to do is start trimming the mushroom, uh, the spinach. We talked about that before. You don't have to trim spinach. I usually do if there's long stems attached. I feel like nobody wants that in their mouth. Or do they want it, you know, you're sitting down with someone and you're trying to be dignified. And that's that's going to rob your dignity pretty quick, having a, a stem of spinach stuck between your teeth. 
they're all stacked up in there, and then we can set that to the side. The mushrooms are going to become, essentially, our, our dressing for the spinach and, and create the salad where we saute them in, finishes it. Let's move on to the spinach. Now, nice baby spinach. And we can take a handful at a time. I'm going to use it all. This can get out of our way. We'll dump it into here as we go with it. That one's fine. Just kind of look at them. If they don't have much of a stem, don't worry about it. Right? I mean, and you can probably just tear it. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're just getting rid of big stems. And this, look at, we're filling up our green box, our compost bowl here, and getting ready to create something new in the garden. Speaking of new in the garden, oh my goodness. My garden at home is growing like mad. We've got lettuce, unbelievable. I, I, we've been talking about an idea where I think we're going to start bringing some of that, what my garden is growing in and incorporate it into the meals that we're preparing here for saving time. So, uh, it's a kind of like a program that we're doing here at Westminster that we call Graceful Gardening. And it means you've got a garden and you end up with more than what you can eat because it all grows at the same time, right? Sometimes we end up with an abundance. And if people are interested in participating, when you have an abundance, if it comes here to Westminster, we prepare it and put it away or immediately donate it to families who could use it. We can use it into saving time recipes that get donated. All of these things come into play. Find yourself with an abundance of something and you don't know where to go with it, come here with it. I'll cook with it, I promise. <laughs> it will not go to waste. This is cruising. Now, before I go any further though, now that I'm now do this handful and then I'm gonna set that butter in the oven. This is super easy. You know what? We can take a little break. I'll finish tearing this up and when I come back, we'll get that butter melted. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I melted the butter into my pan. You can see it sizzling away there. Close that back up. And we're ready to get our chicken ready. And it's truly that simple. Just dredge it around in there. Make sure that you've got butter all over the place. Mm, I'm sorry, excuse me. Our chicken. I'm just going to oh, carry it over to the sink and I'm just going to drain it off. We don't need to get too carried away about draining it. Just use your hand as your colander. <laughs> we don't need to. It's just easier to get it out of there if it's not in the water. And back over here. You need to pat your chicken dry a little bit. Just get a piece of paper towel. We don't have to get fancy. Shake it off a little. Lay it in. Give it a little a little pat like that. That's all. That's, that's all you have to do. And then it's going to sizzle. No, no sizzle. Oh, but it's tipping. We'll put the next one at the other end. <laughs> and there we go. Give it a little shake off into the paper towel, pat it, and whoop, there. And we'll go this end. And in it goes. This is it. This is, and this is the secret to your nicer chicken. Can you imagine that that's the secret? Some secret. Some secret. We're soaking it, getting it in that nice butter. That's how, I mean, that's easy, right? This is how we're going to coat the chicken. We're just laying it in that butter and yeesh, there. Okay, my hands are not done getting dirty, so we're not gonna bother about that. That's what my apron's for. <laughs> now, we're gonna start by seasoning the side that's facing up. So just get yourself some salt. Salt one side. I don't have to too much there. I don't want to add that much. And because we're going to do the other side too, right? And then our pepper. Mm -hmm. Give it a, so you can see it. 
I mean, how much pepper so you can see it? That's how much. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty straightforward guesstimate, right? You just want to get enough on there that you can see it easily. I once again brought some oregano from home. And as before, we're just going to crush it in my hand and sprinkle it on. And now we flip. Dredge it around in that butter and flip. Dredge and flip. Swirling it around and flip. And now we're back to seasoning this side. And it's in the oven. It's, it's truly, like look how easy that is, right? And it's gonna be delicious. A bit of salt. And again, I've taken more salt than I wanna use. It's gonna go onto the mushrooms this time. <laughs> Pepper. And then we'll do the oregano, and then in the oven, 425 for 15 to 20 minutes. And you're gonna know better than I what your chicken looks like, right? We're gonna do that again. Um, I mean, you can tell, these are big pieces of chicken, so they're gonna need 15 to 20 minutes. Um, if your pieces are thinner, they're gonna take less time. Look at your chicken and, and think about it that way. And again, just crumble it up and on it goes. Look at that. It's gonna be a beautiful meal. And it's practically cooked itself. Now, when we put this in, I'm gonna open that oven door so I don't have to do it cold in the pan. Mine's only lopsided because I've got it sitting on this little pad. So I'm just going to make sure that there's butter all the way through. And that's beautiful. In it goes. Just like that. Done. Um, just to split the difference, I put 17 minutes on this timer and go. Now way. Now the next thing we're going to do is just, actually I think I'm going to wait a second for those. Those mushrooms aren't going to take more than like 10 minutes. The other thing we're going to have with our meal today is baguette and we're going to toast it and put some cheese on it and have it It'll be beautiful, right? With our meal, with our salad. It'll feel very restaurant-like, you know, you get your, 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 your nice toast with it and everything. It's feeling, it's feeling really like a big deal meal, but not because these baguettes at no frills are always only 88 cents. That's not even a sale. That's just what they always sell them for. And a baguette like the 88 cents, are you kidding, right? I know I've got a bread knife. I see it. I washed it up just before we started. There it is. 88 cents. So I'll tell you what the other thing a baguette like this is. I'm going to cut it first this way. The other thing a baguette is good for is one this size is perfect for making a bread pudding. It's just the right amount. It's going to give you just the right amount. I think I'm going to go, if I do it again, I'm just trying to make the cut easier for myself. We're cooking for four, so this is going to be great. <laughs> and then we're going to split it lengthwise too. If things go badly, Shannon, on the split, just stop filming, okay? <laughs> She looks so worried right now, but she doesn't need to. Look, it went beautifully. There's one. <laughs> you know what? Watching someone else with a knife is the worst, right? It's the worst because they don't, they don't know that we know. <laughs> Just like that. You've got your own way of cutting. And there. Okay. We're almost there. This is... We're getting it ready. We're gonna put it in the oven just for the last uh, like five minutes, but this way it's going to be ready for us so that we don't need to worry after when we're doing our mushrooms. And I was trying to soften up some butter ahead of time, so we'll see. Hopefully it's a pretty warm day, so hopefully it's, it's softened up. Seems to be all right. You suit yourself here. I want the butter. I, I mean, butter is flavor, and you, you don't absolutely need it. If you want to just brush with a little olive oil, also okay. I want the flavor of the butter. And it's only a little bit, so there's all 
that. And our chicken, we're gonna cook it for like 15 to 20, and then it's best if we let it sit for about five minutes before we actually plate and serve it. So no big deal, that's when we're going to put the bread in. When we lift the chicken out, we'll put the bread in. When the bread's done, so is the chicken, okay? It's gonna be just like that. But this is getting it right, and you know what? We're toasting it. If it sits out on the counter and gets a little bit stale, it's gonna make better toast. So look at it that way. I mean, if we were gonna take this to the table, we would wanna keep it nice and fresh, but we're toasting it. And there, they've all got a little. I probably used a tablespoon or two of butter there, I don't know. I'm gonna close up. You like my fancy oregano dish, all right? Okay, so. No big surprise that around my house, this turns into my fancy Tupperware. Um, so <laughs> there we go. No one's gonna be surprised to see me doing that. And if you are, you haven't been watching. <laughs> That's ready. I have cheese left over from who knows when. I don't remember when we used this cheese, but I had it left over. I'm sure you've got some cheese in your fridge. Um, if, if not like a cheese that you can grate, then just use some a shake of Parmesan or something. I'm going to get this completely ready for us by getting it right onto the bake sheet. And there we go. There. We're just going to have it ready to go in the oven when the chicken comes out. And then that'll work out perfectly. Just give them a little, you want it to to feel, you know, like a, a something special, but we don't need to get too carried away. If you want it to, you could give um, a little, like if you had some chives from your, <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, if you have some chives or something from your garden, you could sprinkle them on. You don't really, really need it, but if you want to, even a little bit of pepper goes a long way. You turn it into bruschetta with some chopped tomatoes. <laughs> a little bit of basil. There we go. We're not, I put parchment down because inevitably the cheese is going to melt off of the bread and that's a lot of work to scrape off your pan. So save yourself that hassle. It will definitely come off and then you'll have a mess and then you'll be sorry that you did it. So for the little bit of effort, expense of the parchment, it's worth your time. Your time is worth that much money. Your time is worth the buck we've got in parchment. <laughs> You're cooking a beautiful meal. You don't need to make clean up too much of a hassle. Okay, see those just look good, right? We don't need to like blanket it in cheese. It's not a grilled cheese sandwich. It's just to make our meal feel a little fancier later. I'm just gonna set this out of the way. And there we go. Now, give me a second just to clean up a couple of things and then we're gonna come back and put the mushrooms on. I've got the mushrooms in the pan here, and remember I had about two tablespoons of butter. If I'm going to top them with some soy sauce. That's all I'm using. So, I think I wrote on the board a quarter to half a cup. That's because, I mean, who knows what I'm pouring on here, right? So just, just, that was probably a quarter. <laughs> The pan looks really full right now, but as they cook, they will deplete and disappear. So you can see how it looks really full right now. I'm just pushing them around. They're gonna cook away and be just fine. We don't need to watch this on camera. I'm gonna come back when it's time to take the chicken out of the oven. Our mushrooms will be done at about the same time. I'll see you in a bit. All right, the timer just went. Let's get this out. Oh, it smells divine. No supreme. <laughs> and look at this. Look at how nice this looks. Beautiful. We can just peek. Juices are clear. Look at how I don't want to poke it too much because I don't want to let those juices out. But that is done like dinner. We're gonna move the bread in. I don't want to forget, so I'm going to put it because I'm prone to forgetting. I'm going to go one, two, three, two, three, and a 
way it goes. Look at my mushrooms. Look at my mushrooms. <laughs> so they deplete it. They're coming up beautifully. When everything else is done, they're going to be all done. And you can see, see what I mean? How that's going to become our dressing right there. And it's just going to go on top of the spinach and be lovely. We can. telling me it's done. <laughs> My eyes told me first. Close that and I'll make this stalk. Look at how nice this went. Look at how nice this went. We're done. This is dinner. We are sorted right now. Let's start plating. I'm going to shut the oven off since I'm done cooking. There. Now it's quiet. Now it's quiet. We need a fork. Let's pick a nice piece of chicken here. We're gonna go with this one. Look at that. Look at the nice brown butter in the bottom. See how nice that looks? Beautiful, look what you've done. <laughs> this, is, this is a supreme meal you're sending out to the, to the table tonight. So you've got your chicken. And now we're gonna put our nice little bed of spinach on there. Turn it over so it looks beautiful. Put the right side up. This is fancy. This is restaurant quality. And there we go. We're going to put our mushrooms on there. And just, I want to actually, I want to put a little bit of pepper on our mushrooms. If you've got a shaker, just give it a shake. If you've got a grinder, do that. That's just going to give it a little something extra. Okay. And then stir it around a bit and we want to get some of that juice but not too much so it's attached to the mushrooms so just that one kind of traveled on me it's a big spoon i should have got a smaller spoon for this and there and you've got enough for four people so don't be shy <laughs> look at how nice this looks and then get a little bit of those nice pan juices and drizzle it over and you know what, at the table, if somebody loves it, they might want to drizzle a little of that or even more of that nice brown butter on top of their chicken, if they want to. And then we come over here and let's put a beautiful toast and another one. Just like that. Look at this. Look at this. Ha! Huh. Voila. Look at this beautiful meal. Now, I think I spent $16 on with the chicken, the spinach, the mushrooms, and the baguette. $16, four people, $4 a plate. This looks like a restaurant meal. Again, another restaurant quality meal. Your kitchen, your kitchen table, $4 a plate. What a beautiful meal you've got ready for your family. Bon appetit. Make sure when you enjoy your meal, please, for heaven's sake, Go on to the YouTube video, like the video, subscribe to the Westminster Orangeville channel, and hit the little bell so you know each week when new episodes are, are showing. Quit letting food eat up all your time and money. You saw how we did this economically and in very little time. Enjoy your dinner. I'll see you soon.